ran across when I was doing a, a section on widows in Virginia in the 18th century, I ran across this kind of dispute between George and his mother. And I thought, how odd. I mean, he was the richest man in, almost in the, in, in the new nation at that point, certainly in Virginia. And they were squabbling over money. And I thought that was just not my picture of George Washington. Yeah. It, and the problem grew as I, I read the historiography about him. She's not been treated terribly seriously, and most of the historiography is quite poor or amateurish. But um, his, his biographers have, um, you know, in the early 19th century, obviously like Weems, it's sort of she's, yeah, yeah, yeah. she's the angel in the kitchen. Right. And then kind of by the end of the 19th century, she was um, feeling the heat from people who'd read Freud and, and read a little bit more of uh, his correspondence and found out a few things that they didn't like. And, and by the 40s and the 50s, when Douglas Southall Freeman is writing the you know, six volume definitive biography of him, she's become this horrible bitch, all based on really very, very limited evidence. Um, and evidence that was always gathered to prove a point about him, not to find out really what her life was. And I did, I did feel there's something that she'd been maligned. I mean, it, it, it was gratuitous. That, that when you read this stuff, it's like, yeah. you know, yeah. come on, yeah. guys. Yeah. It seemed to me that, that there was something important about the sort of the structuring in of this kind of conflict, that it wasn't just that she was a, a nasty person and, you know, the truth was that both of them were very exacting about money. They both were really, really interested in money and down to the penny, both of them. So, yeah. and at a certain point, if he gave her money, they had some contractual arrangements, but she often needed a little bit more. And he resented that and didn't like it. Uh, and he took to having a, a um, witness at some of these events where he would give her some money just to, because he, he thought she was, uh, you know, trying to exploit him, I guess. She did w what, what he did often, which was to, to cry poor, but in her case, it was often pretty, I mean, she really was pretty cash poor. She was on the farm that had the least fertile land. Um, even his, her critics agree or, or say that. Um, she hadn't... Um, she didn't raise tobacco at a certain point, so she didn't have a big cash crop. Um, she may have had an exaggerated feeling of want, but she also had these things happening that were pretty scary for an old lady. Yeah. And um, she told people that she was in want and she wanted, and they suggested, well, you're, you're kind of like a, you know, a war widow or something. Maybe we could get you a pension. And that got back to, to George. It didn't, go to the state legislature. There was no actual paperwork on it. Um, but he was completely mortified um, and wrote this letter about how he didn't know how she was doing, but everybody in the family would take wonderful care of her and you know, do anything for her. He had this set of complaints about her that, um, but it's, it's sort of like the Congress, you know? He never quit. He never stopped seeing her. He never cut her off. He never, he complained about her. Um, but there were plenty of, of you know, it, it, just to use the widow for son example, there were plenty of sons who stole from their mothers, went to court, uh, did horrible things, you know. And Washington, um, Washington respected her uh, in many ways. I don't think he uh, wanted to spend a lot of time with her, you know. Children don't always want to spend, but I do think that they were very much alike. They were very demanding. Uh, Washington, as a slave owner and you know a person who gave instructions, was really similar to to Mary. He um, had a sort of a attitude about life that was sort of it's your fault. You can fix it, you know, and so did she. Um, it's, you know, hers was more overtly religious, but it's a, it's a similar 
um, view of the world that, you know, terrible things happen to us and it's our job to expect that and to deal with it more. There, there, have, been, there have been a couple of writers about Washington who've been very even-handed, much more even-handed, but they haven't really done much, done much research on her to find out what kinds of pressures were on her and what, what her own up, up, upbringing was like. Um, I, I don't know that I've set the record straight because there's a lot we don't know and can't know. Maybe someday something will crop up that, you know. But I do think that, that the selective use of only George's ir irritated letters, you know, um, and to, and to turn them into a sort of a whole story about yeah. somebody's character, you know, that's not great, great history. <laughs>